In this tutorial, we will explore different methods to hide a div element in Angular application. These techniques are useful for controlling the visibility of UI components based on certain conditions on user interactions. So before we begin, make sure you have basic understanding of Angular and also make sure that Angular CLI is, is already installed in your computer. So very first thing is using the if condition in the HTML. So as we are using Angular 17, so we will be using a latest new syntax of if the use case is that suppose you want to hide a div based on specific condition like a user not being logged in let's do that open your angular project and this is already running in my computer so here i will create a property here let me delete others okay here we will simply add a property is logged in and by default its value is false and now in the html i will simply add if and in this if i will add is logged in syntax and let's move the h1 tag into it let's make it true and now you will see that this dom element is visible again so this if condition removes the element from the dom when the condition is false and in this example the h1 tag will only be displayed when is logged in is true so next scenario is about using css class binding to hide elements so let's consider the use case if you want to hide a div without removing it from the dom and then you can use the css so let's try that go to the scss or css file that you have along with this component and add the hidden class and display none before showing that let me quickly show you that uh, the first scenario that we just implemented is actually deleting the element from the dom so look at the x right now it is visible uh, h1 tag is in the dom you can find it from the inspect element but if i set it to false again then you will see that there is no h1 tag at all in the dom so this is how the first approach works so now let's move on to the second method we already have added the hidden class so now instead of using this approach i will get rid of the if condition at all we will use the angular's class binding to apply the class based on a condition so here i can add class dot hidden here i can simply use is logged in property that we created earlier so it will add the hidden class only if this property is boolean or truthy so now you can see that uh, that h1 tag is not visually available you cannot see it but in the dom it is still there so the hidden class is applied to the h1 tag when is logged in is false this method hides the element visually but keeps it in the dom uh, let's talk about the second uh, third scenario using ng style for dynamic styling so the use case is that maybe for more dynamic controls such as responding to user actions or application state changes you can use the ng style directive so let's apply styles uh, conditionally using ng style so i am going to get rid of that and here we will use ng style and here i will add an object and add a style property display and here normally we add none to hide to add the display none like this but as we want to uh, hide it conditionally we can simply add a ternary operator here that is logged in is true then uh block display would be block otherwise it would be none so let's try it you can see it is visible because a display block is applied because of the true value if i set it to false then it is displayed none now and it is not visible anymore other than that you can use this syntax as well like style dot uh, i guess display none maybe let me try that okay uh, yes this is working so here you can simply add a condition that you can say that is logged in then show this none or show block right now is logged in is false but you can use true and now that style has been applied but i can say that is if uh, logged in is false then you can set display to none now uh, right now it is visible there is no style on that h1 tag but if you 
just set it to false then it will add that style conditionally so this ng style directive is used to apply inline styles based on should hide uh, based on the is logged in property so this is a versatile way to apply various styles conditionally so hiding elements in angular can be achieved through different techniques each suited to a particular scenario uh, whether you are removing elements from dom with if toggling visibility with css or dynamically applying styles with ng style angular provides flexible options to control element visibility i hope that this video was very useful for you if you did not subscribe to my youtube channel already then please make sure to subscribe it and also click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos so that you don't miss any new interesting videos also if you have any questions or feedback or suggestions please leave them in the comment section and make sure to like and share this video thanks for watching see you next time